Preparation of Parts First, a copper plating wire must be attached to the part. There are many different ways this can be accomplished. Hot glue works well, or inserting a heated piece of wire, especially into wax or plastic. We recommend that you use a heavy gauge wire for parts which are light and may float when immersed in plating solution. This will make things easier for you later on. Next, the part must be cleaned of dirt and grease. Finally, the part must be absolutely dry. Application of metal form paints. Metal form L. Before opening the glass jar of metal form L, shake well to ensure total mixing of components. Remove cover and screw on the compressed air spray cartridge. Test spray on a piece of cardboard or paper before spraying your part. It may take a few seconds for the paint to start coming out. Spray with a steady back and forth motion across the part making sure all areas are evenly coated. Make sure to spray the base of the plating wire to maintain continuity. Using the plating wire as a hanger, hang the part to dry for five minutes in a dust-free area before spraying on a second coat. A second coat may not be necessary. Allow part to dry for 10 minutes longer. Continue plating process with brass release. Metal Form A. If you are using Metal Form A, you need to choose a method of application. This type of conductive paint can be sprayed on, painted on, or dipped into. Shake paint well in a sealed container before starting. Spraying. For best results, you need to use a 40 PSI touch-up spray gun. Follow the manufacturer's instructions for setup and operation. Metal Form A should not need to be thinned for this type of application. However, water may be used if necessary. Make sure that you are working in a well-ventilated area, preferably using some type of washable or disposable backdrop for overspray. When you apply Metal Form A, spray with an even passing motion across the part, making sure all areas are well coated. You must spray the base of the plating wire where it connects to the part in order to ensure continuity. You need to be careful that you do not apply too much paint. If you do, there will be visible drip marks over the surface of the part instead of a light, even coating. Painting. Using a clean, soft paintbrush for acrylics, suited to the type of part, simply apply Metal Form A wherever you need it. If paint is too thick, you may dilute it slightly with water, making small additions and testing consistency often. This paint thins very easily. Make sure to coat the base of the plating wire and the entire part as evenly as possible to ensure continuity. Dipping. Holding the part by the plating wire, immerse fully into metal form A for at least 30 seconds to allow air bubbles to escape rotating gently if possible. The part is not fully immersed unless it is covered beyond the base of the plating wire. Remove slowly, allowing excess to drip back into the container for at least one minute before drying. Drying. For all Metal Form A application procedures, allow two to three hours drying time. Parts should be hung in a dust-free area using the plating wire as a hanger. Laying the part down is not recommended as you will disturb the surface before it has a chance to dry. Test to make sure the part is fully dry before continuing. The part will not be tacky to the touch when fully dry. Continue plating process with brass release.